I am going to make this a quick video. I probably should not make it at all, but this guy is irritating a lot of people. He's close to being the first person I've ever blocked. This is user Liberate X Infernus, formerly known as IsNoGod12. His favorite things are making videos to insult mainly DPR Jones, and writing pointless and inflammatory comments and messages. Let's take a look at his latest piece of work. Hello YouTube, or rather, hello DPR Jones. This video is directed at you, to deal with some of your statements about 9-11. Like, for example, the intellectual heavyweight, Rosie O'Donnell. Before we go any further into the events of 9-11, I'd like to address your use of this rather fat, stupid woman to destroy the credibility of those who do not subscribe to the official version of events. It's the equivalent of me taking this rather fat, loquacious individual and showing him as an envoy of atheism. Actually, it's, it's like taking this fat, loquacious woman as an envoy of psychic. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. And to find him in water, it's like the girl is missing in Aruba. You can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman, but... There was no, no, see, I keep seeing him in water. Just because she has not been as convincing as other charlatans does not mean that they are not equally full of crap. O'Donnell used the exact same lie that any <laughs> more respected 9-11 truther source keeps using despite evidence to the contrary. She is simply regurgitating the same crap that has duped millions of other ignorant simpletons. Do you know how fast it took those towers to fall? I, I don't have the exact Nine seconds. Do you know how fast it would have taken something to free fall with no resistance from the top of that building? Nine seconds. It's physically impossible. Next, I'd like to show some images of the Reichstag fire in Germany, a preemptive event orchestrated by Hitler in order to garner support for the war which was to ensue. And now you've moved on to Goodwin's Law. Just because Hitler manufactured an atrocity used for his own advantage does not imply that others were similarly manufactured. Privacy rights in relation to telephone and personal communication are revoked. Will it be peace or war? And in that instance, Hitler's ambitions came to fruition. A fine example of how a government contrived terror attack was used to manipulate people in order to obtain a political ambition. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. And we stand together to win the war against terrorism. I see where this is going. I don't enjoy discussing politics, and I am not going to start making political videos. I simply have no interest in doing so. However, no matter what your opinions of the Bush administration or their policies in the Middle East, any rational person should realize that Islamic terrorism is a serious and quite real concern. For on this first full day that the Military Commissions Act is in force, we now face what our ancestors faced, not other times of exaggerated crisis and melodramatic fear-mongering a government more dangerous to our liberty than is the enemy it claims to protect us from. Ah, I remember this diatribe from Oberman that you are quoting out of context. His exaggerated and sensationalized doom and gloom predictions prove to be false. My fellow Americans and I still have our right to habeas corpus, and I highly doubt the government is now fully aware of my plans to go out for Italian food with Kimberly on Tuesday. It seems there are more similarities between those two men than meets the eye. Not even close. And by making such a statement, you are being extremely disrespectful to all the victims of the Holocaust. This and your following invective description of the United States in treatment of prisoners of war were not only intellectually vacuous, but an obvious red herring. They have nothing to do with any of the points DPR Jones refuted in his video, The God Conspiracy. And you know that! In all of your messages to me and others, your videos, your behavior on Block TV, you have shown that your only purpose is to derive reactions out of others. 
I do not know if this latest work you are putting into conspiracy theories, which you seem to have spent a lot of time studying, is something you are actually stupid enough to believe in, or if you are making these videos simply to disagree with DPR Jones, as you did with your morality videos. You are a two-faced little weasel with a severe personality disorder, and we have little time for the likes of you, which is why I have some regrets for wasting this last hour or so making this video to you. Even Neflin Free is sick of your crap. Oh, and don't call Steph Zula sweetie, weirdo. Okay, so to make this video not a complete waste of everyone's time, I think I'll do a couple of shoutouts. The True Puka is a very energetic and entertaining guy. He has some really colorful, d descriptive language, and I think you will enjoy what he has to offer. Oh, and remember to pet the freaking cat. Second, YouTube user Android AR has created a channel devoted to the reposting and reorganizing of creationist videos. There are hundreds of videos in dozens of playlists, including Ken Ham, Ken Hoven, Mark Surtees, Ray Comfort, and many others. Check out Fundy Video Hell.